guys this is lisa welcome back to my channel why nobody told me before that moscow is literally a london it's been pouring for at least 10 days in a row today is the first day when it's kind of decent outside i'm on my way to show you guys the biggest flea market in russia i'm going through a wonderful park with a lake and there I can see is my level Kremlin. It starts here in this big parking lot. Behind me there are a couple of big Soviet style hotels. And this, I suppose, it's an entrance. And the street thrift store starts here just on the streets. Some people selling this stuff. I found a floor store, they sell amazing hats, like you can buy you can buy proper Ushanka here. It's not the fake from souvenir store, it's a very cool one. I'm trying to get the price. Also, look at this guys. You can find here a literal bear to put in your flat i asked the price so the seller told me like you can buy the original food hat 30 dollars you can buy this amazing honey bear for a thousand dollars and also they have a wolf wolf is 300 us dollars guys do you want to buy it You can buy not only original fur, you can buy animal skulls there. It's a bit scary, guys. And there I can see a bunch of foxes. Who is buying that? <laughs> like, you buying that to wear or or for your house i don't know guys i think it's the best place for foreigners to come here in moscow to see like proper original authentic russian stuff here the most interesting scene here is that this place was not built for foreigners it's actually a place for normal russian people to buy something and uh, it's a place for Russian collectors to find interesting retro stuff here. So you pretty much can see just normal Russian people selling and buying something. I saw just the three Chinese tourists here and other people are Russians here. Old Soviet coat. And here are the rugs. It's a rug place. When I was in Moscow for the first time, we went here and we were searching for um, the old film USSR camera and we found one. And now I'm actually thinking to buy old camera again because it was my kind of hobby 
but I don't know is the if they have this on sale now you just need to really go through all of shops here to find what you need usually you can find a cameras in stores like that so here you can see the neat cameras but it's not what I need the story of that original camera was sad when I was in China I lost it somewhere in Shenzhen city in one of the shopping malls yeah this nice original film camera that I lost This section behind me is section for antiquariats, uh, furniture, old icons, like uh, the god image. I saw some pretty old ones, like ancient. And yeah, I'm sure you can find a lot of stuff here. Yeah, uh, some sellers uh, does not look very friendly, so I'm a bit scared to film them. Prices are different. You can buy a cheap things here, but also you can find very rare antiquaria things that cannot be cheap. Retro, traditional Russian clothes, and this store is for Russian type of shoes. It's called Valenki. This is kid size, very cute. Also, you can buy this to put in your shoes. It make it will make it warmer. Russian is bushka furniture, old samovar and retro lapti. By the way, photography on film camera is not a cheap hobby. First of all, you have to buy film and then you pay a lot of money to develop it, to create pictures from it. I know how he looks, he's like a little bit. Yes, it's a little bit. Ah, no, let's open it, it's cool. А, нет, я не, не такой, такой, не такой имела в виду. Ну тут с олимпийской символикой. Mm -hmm. А какой еще может быть? Я не представляю. Very kind owner tried to find a photo camera for me, but he didn't have one that I needed. I told you guys that this camera is pretty rare. To work here and to sell something, I think you have to be obsessed with an old stuff. And I see people like this here they love what they doing to find best products you gotta come here early in the morning because after like 3 4 p.m the sellers would pack and on sunday it will start all over again the only one thing that i want to buy here is new for hats or proper warm winter socks Despite uh, almost winter weather, it's like plus three degrees right now, sellers gotta stay outside for the whole day. I found Paradise Land. How much is for the camera? Guys, I'm so happy I found it. I found my camera in the perfect conditions in a box. Like, it's so perfect. And I paid $40. I didn't want to buy anything today, but I just remember the feeling having film camera and I just miss it and I just decided to buy it do you remember this gate? yeah, this is the beginning or the end, whatever wedding car Soviet da Lyubov it's what we say in Russia on the right there will be Vernissage, the area with the market that you just saw right now 
some drunken people walking around and on uh, the left side there's going to be a uh, smile of a Kremlin It is so beautiful inside. This is my first time here. This is a local wedding house, guys. You can get married here. Do you want to get married here? At least if you want a wedding photo shoot in Russian style, you definitely must come here. Vodka History Museum. We should visit next time. Let's choose what we gotta eat. I'm at the little square. There is a Bears Cafe. They sell Glintvein here also. Hot dogs. And there is the restaurant with Blini and Vareniki. day and taking pictures everywhere it should be so stressful for the couple because I know what it takes to make a perfect shot when I'm doing my thumbnails or my YouTube video it takes a lot of time to do something nice so yeah it should be so stressful for the couple it is getting so dark so early in Moscow right now um, yeah it's not even 6 p.m. I'm trying to find the way home. This is big hotel complex behind me. And yeah, I saw tourists here and it's not city center of Moscow. Um, maybe it will take 30 minutes for me to go back home. wanted to show you this this is my new camera that I bought today it has original case like the original package and this is the camera it is very cute and this camera is older than me it's like almost 40 years old guys and it is in perfect conditions if you will look at the lens it's not dusty, it's not dirty. It doesn't have like big scratches on it. I don't know how you can keep 40 years old camera like this. It is amazing. Probably it just was waiting for me in this box forever. 
I want to show you something. Just listen. Oh, I miss that sound, definitely. So yeah, guys, uh, soon I'm going to feel something with this camera, definitely. And probably I will share my results with you. So please subscribe to my channel. You can not only subscribe to my channel, you can become a Lisa's team member by subscribing to my YouTube sponsorship program. We have a team of 10 people in there. But if you don't want to subscribe to anything, you just can click on my next log and watch it. And thank you so much, guys, for staying with me until the end. As always, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!